if they were okay, the child didn't respond, or at least she didn't hear her respond, he or she respond. And then she heard um, our daughter Carly scream. And from there, all we could hear was noise, background noise in her phone, which we later found out was noise from the interstate. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's story, we are going to take a closer look at the details of what happened with Curly Russell. What happened when she went missing and who is she? And, you know, I've been reading a lot about social media on this girl called Curly Russell. Apparently she was allegedly kidnapped and then everybody was looking for her. And then days later, she reappears and is found. So in this video is everything you need to know about the Alabama student nurse who vanished. Now the nursing student quickly hit the US headlines after she went missing while on a 911 call where she reported a lone male toddler on the side of the road. Carly Russell, who's 25, showed up two days later at a parent's house claiming that she had been abducted. But today, police sources reveal new information which suggests that her disappearance could have been a sham. But who exactly is Carly Russell and what happened to her? Was there ever a toddler on the on the side of the road? Okay, just watch this video to know everything you need to know about Curly Russell. So before we get into the video, who exactly is Carly Russell? Carly Thea, or Carly Nicole Russell as she is known, is a student nurse from Hoover, Alabama. She went missing on July the 13th for two days after it was revealed by police that a phone call was received by 911 regarding an unaccompanied male toddler on the side of the road. Ms. Russell was on her way back from her job at the Woodhouse Day Spa in Birmingham, Alabama. She left work between 8.20 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. and later stopped by a Target superstore for some snacks. Now, after stocking up, she then made the 13-mile drive south towards her parents' home, a journey that would usually take 25 minutes, traffic permitting. At 9.34, over an hour after she departed from work, footage shows her slowing down while flashing her hazards near the 11-mile marker on the interstate. She then called 911 and told them there was a male toddler wearing a diaper walking on the side of the state. She proceeded to call her brother's girlfriend who had Ms. Russell ask the toddler, are you okay? Shortly after she screamed before the phone call ended. At 9.40 p.m. the police arrived at her last known whereabouts, only five minutes after she made the 911 call, only to find her car still running, her wig, phone, purse, Apple watch and some previously ordered takeaway food. No reports besides Miss Russell were made about a lone toddler walking along the road on July the 13th. Now, Miss Russell's family quickly sprang into action after her disappearance, handing out missing persons leaflets, coordinating volunteer-led searches and looking for her in the area where she was last seen. They also spread the word on social media, pleading with users for clues as Alabama police began their investigation. But things quickly turned sour for the family as conspiracy theories soon began to flood the internet about their daughter's disappearance. During her daughter's disappearance, Talitha Russell received a text from an unknown person claiming to be Ms. Russell staying at a motel. The family went to the motel but there was no sign of their daughter in the general area. Ms. Russell resurfaced banging on her parents' door at 12.45 on Saturday night, two days after her initial disappearance. Her parents explained to the media that their daughter was in a bad way after having to fight for her life. They tried to hug their daughter but had to stand away because she was in a bad state, according to Talitha, Ms. Russell's mother. This story is still unfolding because now people are very suspicious. The police are also very suspicious and they have now unveiled a new information indicating that her kidnapping story may not be true as they could not find any evidence of the alleged toddler wandering the side of the road. 
At a press conference, the police said that they were wary of believing Ms. Russell's testimony after they couldn't verify the majority of her initial testimony, querying her mental health. They said there is no threat to public safety and Ms. Russell is now being non-compliant, refusing to be interviewed for a second time. So this story continues. Um, there's a lot of suspicions that the story was false in the first place, that it was made up by Ms. Russell. So I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section as the story continues to unfold.